Jezebel spirit. You may ask, what about the men? It's coming up in the next upload. Watch for it. Jezebel spirit. We read in 1 Kings chapter 16, verse 31. It came to pass, as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that Ahab took to wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbaal, king of the Zidonians, and he went and served Baal and worshipped him. Now, in Scripture, Jeroboam, a previous king of Israel, erected idols and instructed Israel to worship them. So Ahab followed in the footsteps of Jeroboam. And by choosing to marry Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbaal, Ahab chose to worship Baal and enter into idolatry. 1 Kings 21-25 But there was none like Ahab who sold himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord, whom Jezebel his wife stirred up, implying that Ahab ranked among the most wicked, evil king in the history of Israel among all their kings. The proportion is approximately two is to one of Israelite kings who did evil in the sight of the Lord and those who did good in the sight of the Lord. And of that, two-thirds of the kings of Israel who did evil in the sight of the Lord, Ahab ranks as the gold medalist, if you would. In 1 Kings 18, 4 and 13, we read, Was it not told, my Lord, what I did when Jezebel slew the prophets of the Lord, how I hid one hundred of God's prophets by fifties in a cave and fed them with bread and water? This scripture is testament to the fact that the wicked Queen Jezebel, wife of King Ahab, would stop at nothing. She even desired the execution of God's true prophets in order to further her personal satanic agenda. This Jezebel was a ruthless woman. She allowed nothing and no one to stand in her way. She was the wife of a weak-kneed man, King Ahab. She could manipulate him and achieve her personal goals wherever and however she wanted. And she was a very ambitious woman indeed. This is why the term Jezebel spirit is used to refer to women in particular who try to usurp and wield power. But don't worry, our next upload will deal with men who have the same issue or problem. Take the case of their innocent neighbor, Naboth. Ahab desired Naboth's vineyard, which was adjacent to the king's property, and offered to buy it from him. When Naboth declined, saying it belonged to his family for generations, he wanted to continue living there. Ahab became sad. When Jezebel saw her husband, King Ahab, sad and found out why, she chided her husband for being weak and not exercising or wielding his power. She said to him, are you not the king? She challenged him. In other words, what are you, some kind of wimp? And then what did Jezebel do? She schemed and hatched an evil, murderous plot against upright and innocent Naboth. She proclaimed a false fast, a false fast. Got a couple of witnesses, obviously bribed them to bring trumped up charges against innocent Naboth. Those false witnesses testified that Naboth had blasphemed against both God and the king. And thus he was stoned to death for blasphemy. What a travesty of justice. Then this wicked, vile, evil woman tells Ahab, go ahead. Naboth's field and vineyard is yours for the taking. Now he's dead. His lands are forfeit to the king for such a heinous crime that he committed, not to mention the collateral damage to Naboth's wife and family. This entire account can be read in 1 Kings chapter 21, verses 5 through 16. I repeat, 1 Kings 21, 5 through 16. Do you think God was pleased with this action by Jezebel and then her husband Ahab, incensed or outraged would be more like it, but justice was a coming. Jezebel is also known in the Bible as the painted lady, seductress, ready. She was ready to entice Israel's next God-appointed leader, Jehu, at the drop of a hat. Why? To stay in power. Power and position meant money and influence. Ahab was just a rung in the ladder for 
Jezebel. So many people sadly today are not much different. They seek position and power for money and influence. And it's so easy for us to hate such a person. But we need to introspect. How different are we? How different am I? How much of a hold does money, power and position have over us? Nevertheless, Jezebel was clearly an unscrupulous woman who was willing to stoop to any level to achieve her goals at any cost, even if it meant selling or prostituting herself to the new ruler. The new leader was Jehu. He had just slain her husband Ahab on the battlefield. We also know the end result now, watch what she does, of her shameless attempt to seduce Jehu. He comes on his chariot to the palace. Jezebel is waiting for him. She doesn't care that her husband Ahab was killed by this man. She wants to seduce the new ruler, this man, Jehu. But he saw through her ploy. He would have no part of it. She paints herself, looks through the window and asks him, Is all well? Do you come in peace? He calls out to the servants. Anyone there? throw her down, and her servants threw her down from that palace window. Uh, and as predicted, after falling and being killed upon impact, Jezebel's body was later eaten by dogs, exactly as the prophet of God Elijah had prophesied. What a horrific, ignominious death. As the proverb says, be sure your sins will find you out. It's also said the wheels of justice grind slowly but surely. And you can read this entire account in 2 Kings chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. I repeat, 2 Kings chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. Hebrews 10, 31 tells us it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And this leads us to the men which I titled the Absalom Spirit, the Absalom Spirit. All too often in the body of Christ, we use the term Jezebel Spirit. And almost always it's used in reference to or alludes to a woman who's trying to usurp authority in the church. And that could be in various ways, perhaps by exerting undue influence of the lead minister or pastor or by manipulation or in other ways. It's important the ship is righted and we bring balance to this. In reality, while there would be a percentage of women like Jezebel in the local church, there are just as many men with such rampant desires, especially when it comes to position, power, influence, control, and money. And the men too, sadly, may use various means so they can achieve their selfish goals and objectives. Please do watch our next upcoming YouTube recording titled Absalom Spirit. If you've been blessed and challenged, would you subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, like, share, and comment below. God bless you.